Hey, what's up? This is Chosen, and this video is going to be how to get a very efficient start on a brand new account and kind of what to focus on and all that sort of stuff for new players. So let's get into it. Alrighty, so when you download the game, you start playing, you complete the kind of 10 minute little tutorial thing. This is kind of going to be where you're at. I'm on a new account here. Um, as of recording this video, I've played the game about 300 hours and I'm about level 50 on my main account. Um, but I wanted to do a video where I kind of start from scratch and just kind of show what I would be thinking and kind of what I would be doing if I were to restart and kind of do things over again with what I have learned in that 300 hours of gameplay. So when we're here at this stage, um, if you have rewards here, like energy and stuff, you don't want to claim it when you're like level one or level two or like a really low level because when you're playing, you're going to acquire energy. You want to save these uh, like energy resources until you aren't leveling up as fast when you're actually not at max energy. So like if we look at my energy up top here, I'm 35 out of 21. That means I'm not generating any energy. The left number is your current energy and the right number is your max. So I'm actually above my max, which means I'm not generating any energy, which means I should save some of these because I'm going to be getting energy anyway as I play. So I'm going to save these for a later date, but I will take XP. Very important to have XP boosts especially when you're new you want this little banner up here in the top left that shows the xp definitely want that because it's going to help you progress like twice as fast um so right here i have a shard we do want to summon heroes for sure because we're going to want to kind of see what we have and actually if you want you can do this step over and over again like you can create a new account uh, like, you know, like delete your profile or whatever, create a new account and kind of like reset until you get good pulls, but that's not really necessary. And if you really want to do that, you can, but, uh, you know, I wouldn't really recommend that it. it's probably not worth the time investment. Um, unless you're like super crazy about min maxing, but you should be fine just by like summoning your initial heroes. So, um, nothing really of note here yet, but those were just regular shards that you, you, you definitely want to pay attention down here you want to for sure do your quests um like your daily weekly monthly quests you definitely want to knock these out every day and get those rewards because you're going to get uh silver which you're going to be low on you're going to get all sort of xp to level up and do your weekly and monthly ones as well you also want to pay attention down here to your missions and kind of complete these so make sure you're progressing on these missions because you get energy you get shards you get all sorts of rewards here from doing these. So try and kind of watch this and progress on your missions and your challenges and just kind of keep an eye on that stuff as you're kind of playing. But you'll see here that the great hall, the tavern, the sparring pit, the market, all that stuff is locked. Um, <clears throat> the gem mine, you can unlock the gem mine. I have a video about this in, on my channel discussing, you know, all about the gem mine and if it's worth it and all that. So I'll probably have that down in the video description if you want to check that out. So I won't dive into it too much here because as a new player, you're not going to be worried about that yet anyway. I'm pro this video is probably going to be like 30 minutes or something. I'm just going to kind of go over kind of your initial playing and what you should be focusing on as a new player. I don't want to turn this into like a four-hour video or anything because I could go forever, you know, talking about this kind of stuff. But yeah, let's pull. Um, ancient shards are tough to get you're these are going to be few and far between for you so hopefully we get a good pull here that's what you're hoping for out of kind of your first initial blue <clears throat> and we got judge um so judge is you know gonna be decent um not super great for progressing probably um but any rare champion you get right here is probably going to be something you're going to be using early game so we're going to be pairing that with, um, on this account, I went with Galek. You are, I have a video where I rank all of the starting champions. You're probably going to want to go with Aethel or Kale. I would have done that, but I already had like a new profile loaded on here when I logged in. So I just went with it because it had already done the, tutor the tutorial and everything. Um, but you'll probably want to go with Aethel or Kale. Those are the two best starting champions in my opinion, but Galek and Elaine are viable as well. So off the bat, we're going to want to equip and upgrade whatever equipment we can. On As a new player, you're going to want to put your weapon with the most attack. Now, this one's obviously going to be way better. It's a five. It's a four star with attack 16. So we're definitely going to want to upgrade this and equip it. We're going to get as much damage as possible. 
So we will equip that and then we're going to upgrade it. That's the most important thing is getting this thing up to doing as much damage as possible. And this is actually a pretty good weapon. It's got crit rate as a sub stat. Um, weapons are always going to roll attack as the main stat. It, it will never be different. It will always be attack. And then you're going to get one of these sub stats randomly as you hit level 4, level 8, level 12. Or at level 12, a new one will unlock. And then at level 16, a new one will unlock. But we want to get this as high as we realistically can. Okay, we got to level 8. I may push this up to level 10, depending on the RNG. But I don't want to go too broke on silver. This is bad luck to not hit it yet. It usually takes three or four tries right here to get level 9. Okay, there we go. That hurt. That was bad RNG. Um, okay, so what else can we equip? Um, we want boots. Jet so the artifacts on top, just really quick, the artifacts on top are always going to have the same main stat. Weapons are always going to roll attack as a main stat. Helms are always going to be HP. Shields are always going to be defense. The artifacts on the bottom, the gloves, the armor, and the boots, they can roll different main stats. So those are the ones to watch out for. Gloves, you want usually to have crit chance. Armor, you want usually to have attack percent. And boots, you want to usually have speed. So these boots are, are, are decent early game. Not fantastic, but they're worth throwing on. I'm not really going to upgrade it because it's not going to give me a whole lot of damage. And I'm kind of broke on silver. But we're at least going to equip this stuff. It's better than not having anything on. And then we're just going to start playing. And I'm going to kind of... You know, you don't want to worry about like the dungeon and the arena and any of this stuff. You're not going to be worried about that for a while. Uh, the most important thing is going to be farming up these stages and um, just progressing and earning XP. We want to get our starting hero to level 4 as soon as possible. Or I mean uh, rank 4, 4 stars as soon as possible. We're going to put it on times 2 and auto. We're going to shred this stuff. And when you're learning the game, you can pop up this information tab. This will help you get acclimated with kind of like buffs and debuffs and the different icons in the game. I actually have a video where I have a resource showing the different buffs and uh, icons. I'll try to throw that down in the video description. But yeah, we're just going to be... See, and there's a level up. And this actually recharges um, our energy. It gives us the amount of energy that we just earned. You see, so I, my energy went from like 30 to 55 for leveling up. And you're gonna, that's going to be happening a lot as we're kind of playing. So we just keep kind of progressing through the campaign here, clearing these levels, and earning just XP as we go here. And, uh, you know, you just want to kind of focus on getting your main hero to four star. Like, that's kind of the goal. Get your hero to level 30. I'm probably not going to play enough to be able to do that. That's probably going to look at there another level up. So the game is good about giving you a lot of energy as you're getting started. And then you can also randomly get champions here that unlock. This is an uncommon. So nothing to write home about. Um, each level has the opportunity to drop a champion, an artifact. And I'll kind of show that really quickly. You see here on the left, in this area, we can get uh, two different rare champions, two different uncommons, two different commons or shards, and we get silver every time. So different areas are going to have different rare champions that drop in them. By stage five, it's going to let us use three. So we're going to go ahead and use our uncommon. Uncommons will generally be better than commons but not always and rares will generally be better than uncommons but not always the champions go from common to uncommon to rare to epic to legendary so um what else can i kind of cover here as we're just kind of farming up um resistance see and remember this is uh one of the artifacts that can roll so we would want like attack or attack percentage ideally there but we'll keep it because right now you don't really want to be selling gear yet we kind of want everything so that we can at least get characters geared but we're we're moving along we're leveling up and um the next stage is where we can unlock offense gear so that's going to be one that you may want to farm for a little bit to kind of 
Uh, get, the offense set gives you 15% more damage for every two pieces you're wearing, so you're probably going to want to farm a few sets of that. You're going to probably want to focus on two champions, because we're going to want our main character, which is Galek in this scenario. Yours might be Aethel, Elaine, or Kale. We want to level up our main character, and then when we reset, when we rank up our main character, it's going to be level one. So we're going to need a second character to kind of help clear to re-level up our main character to, the, to a spot where they can clear again. So we're going to need to really focus on gearing up two champions kind of off the bat here. We don't really need to focus on gearing up a whole party. Focus on having two good heroes. And then boss, this is a boss stage. So at the uh, stage seven of each campaign area is going to be a boss stage. They work a little bit differently. They cost one extra energy and they can drop a little bit better artifacts. They can drop like rares instead of just common and uncommon, but they cost a little bit more energy. So typically people will farm stage six or stage three for XP. Stage 3 is a little bit less XP, but it drops shields, which tend to sell for a little bit more. And Stage 6 is kind of the most optimal in terms of XP per energy. So if you're going to be farming levels just for straight like XP or silver, you generally want to go with Stage 3 or Stage 6 of a level. This should be a fight that you'll win pretty easily here. And we can skip the cutscene here. Oh, and it actually gives you a lot of gear. Okay, that's good. Oh, and it, and it gives you War Priest. Okay, so cool. I don't know if that's... I don't know if that's... Uh, so this is a war piece is a rare champion and it's going to be buffing damage and also healing a little bit. So a decent character, but not really a good like clearer, not really a good secondary. We want to, we want like a second damage dealer, someone that can clear while our main character stars up, uh, goes from three star to four star. We want a, another character that can kind of clear content, um, which could be the sniper, I guess but also not great. So let's go back to home and kind of see what we're working with here as far as gear. And remember to keep an eye on your missions and your quests. It can be a big deal early game to kind of claim this stuff. And we want to, in the beginning, we want to be summoning champions because we might get a rare or something out of even a green shard. Death Hound's uh, a decent early game uh, character versus the clan boss, which you're not going to be worrying about <laughs> um, as a brand new character. That's kind of down the road. All right. And, and Yaoman is garbage. Um, so yeah, if I pull this up, this is your shard summoning odds. So mystery shard is kind of your basic green shard and see, we do have a small percent chance of getting a rare. So we do want to spend these as we get them. If you can afford to, because if you get a second rare, like a good, if you get, a, you know, a Kale or something or an Aethel or it's going to help you level up your main character. So now let's go into our gear here. And remember, we want to focus on having two characters that can kind of clear content. Attacks one enemy, attacks all enemies two times. So in this scenario, I would probably choose Sniper as my secondary character. We have Galek as our main. That's what we're going to be focusing on, getting to four stars. And then I would probably choose Sniper here as my secondary clearer because it has an all damager. And uncommons are going to be easy to rank up because any Sniper that I find, I can spend in the tavern later on when it unlocks to upgrade the Sniper's abilities. So I would probably choose to go with Sniper as my secondary clear class. Although Judge as a rare attack all enemies two times. This is a guy I don't even have on my main. That's why I'm a little bit. And that's a three turn cooldown. Okay, so Judge is actually pretty good. I didn't look that over well enough in the beginning. So yeah, scratch that. 
we want to go with a rare when we can and judge has an has an all damage on a three turn cooldown so on this account we would definitely be focusing on galek and judge i didn't know judge had this all damage here on a three turn cooldown because sniper has an all damage on a four turn cooldown so even though sniper is a little bit easier to get the skills upgraded we would definitely go with judge here that's a pretty good find that's a pretty good drop okay so now we want to focus on getting gear on these characters so we need to get judge doing some damage so judge we need to get galek a secondary offense piece because that's going to be a big oh those are good gloves those are good gloves early game they rolled crit crit rate which you definitely want on gloves gloves you want the main stat to be crit rate especially on a damage dealer and then they actually roll attack and hp percent you always want the percent instead of the raw number because it's going to scale better as we level up and star up so those are really good gloves we're going to put that on our main character and then we're going to upgrade these that's a lot i was trying to get my weapon to upgrade but i don't want to spend too much we'll do one more no nope. okay so we give up on that i don't want us i don't want to go broke upgrading my weapon let's upgrade these gloves a little bit um, you usually want to upgrade to level four for sure because it's so cheap and you're going to unlock a secondary sub you're going to unlock a sub stat here so you definitely want to go to rank four and that's huge hit roll the attack percent so those are really really good gloves to start out with we don't want to spend gold upgrading that um we would want to get because right now you see we have three attack pieces we would want to get a fourth so we're probably going to put this helm yeah, we're going to put this helm on Galek and bump it up to four. Because getting up to four is really cheap. And here we would be hoping for crit rate. It's going to be one of those three randomly right here when we hit level four. It's going to roll one of those three randomly. And it gave us accuracy, which isn't going to be super great. Um, but it's it's okay. Um, and then we want to gear up Judge. So what do we got here? We got one, two, three, four offense. So we definitely want to equip those. Oh, and this, this is a pretty good chest. This rolled attack percentage as the main. Remember, that's what we want on a chest is attack percent is really good there. And it also has crit rate as a substat. So that's a pretty good chest as well. We're going to give him the four-piece attack. And then we, ha do, we do have a helm and gloves. Helm and gloves to complete this two-piece. So this gives us attack as a main stat. So we definitely want to upgrade this one. But yeah, the reason we're doing that is because we want two characters. We want to focus on two heroes that are going to do good damage for us. So this is still cheap. And we want to get as much attack as we can. It's starting to get expensive. Let's wait on that. Let's upgrade. Let's get the free attack here. Um, upgrades to level four are always they're 100% success rate. You see this upgrade chance that's certain. We're 100% certain to get to rank four without failing. This is the last one that's certain we're hoping for speed or crit rate. We got speed. This is a good weapon to start with here. It's got speed and crit rate. Really good artifacts here early on. Okay, so we got that. And this is too expensive. We we don't want to go broke. Oh, and the boots rolled speed. It's very important to have boots that have speed as a main stat. So them having speed and crit rate, those are pretty good boots. Some good artifacts here to start out with um okay so now we're gonna see now right here is showing our sets we've got two characters geared up with offensive gear and then the two-piece lifesteal we'll get the other two pieces later on it's it's going to be important for us to get four-piece lifesteal on our main farmers because that's going to help them have sustain and be able to live throughout the level so we're going to want to get two more pieces of lifesteal later on um and there's a an offer coming up so yeah when you're in the campaign each campaign level has a set that it drops so you can see this one here is the hp set this one right here the red sword is the offense set this is going to be the defense set this is the crit rate set when we get over here to the valdemar straight this is where we're going to drop the lifesteal gear so level eight you're going to want to farm some good pieces of lifesteal when we, when we get there i'm not going to make it there in this video but you want to kind of get to level eight and then farm up some lifesteal gear the speed gear here in Palace of, of Arabia is really good too. Speed gear, lifesteal gear, and offense gear. And maybe even crit rate. Those are kind of the four sets we're going to be focusing on. 
So now this is exciting because we can start unlocking offense pieces, which are going to be really good for us to get. And then we see over here on the left, these are the champions that drop. And we're going to be, what is judges aura? Increase ally accuracy in all battles. We don't want that. We'd, we'd rather have the HP. So those are going to be our two that we're focusing on. Remember, because they both have all damagers. They're damage dealing characters. They both have an all damager on, on a three turn cooldown. So these are going to be the two heroes that we're focusing on. And then when one stars up and when, when a hero stars up or ranks up, I should call it, goes from three stars to four stars, they go back to level one. So they're going to be really weak. So you're going to need a second character to kind of help carry them as they re-level up. So that's good there. We'll use our sniper and our rare champion here, the war priest. We're going to also, we, we, we want to at least level up our rare characters here at the start. Um, and then we'll level up our sniper. So, you know, we're going to demolish this. We did a good job of getting offense gear on our characters. We should be doing plenty of damage here to shred these levels. And I would recommend just playing on auto um, instead of trying to sit here and kind of min-max and play perfectly. It's just going to take you too much time to clear. Okay, and, and then, uh, you know, this is normal. We haven't unlocked, like, hard or brutal yet. So, the artifact drops aren't going to be super good. But we will at least keep it. Because we can throw it on our, you know, secondary characters and stuff. So, you don't really want to be selling gear yet. You should You should get enough silver from, like, completing objectives and stuff. To, to kind of keep rolling and be able to upgrade your gear as you go and and keep things going in the right direction but but yeah um so what we would do here is wait until galek here the orc gets to level 30 and hopefully have enough food to star him to four stars and and the game is really good about giving us energy here as we first start. And there's a two-star helm we could throw on somebody off and set. But yeah, I'm going to kind of wrap up here. I don't want to make this video too long and too overwhelming. Um, you know, if you do have questions, drop them down in the comments. I'm usually pretty good about helping people out. Um, quests, keep those cleared. And then um, just kind of some wrapping up thoughts. So when I talk about food... When you get to level 8, I'm already at level 7, and we're 66% to level 8. So, maybe I'll unlock the tavern really quick, and then I'll at least be able to cover that. So, let's unlock the tavern, and I'll and I'll kind of discuss what your plan should be in terms of food and getting your main character up to 4 stars as soon as possible. But yeah, not not a lot to talk about here. I don't like to have dead air, but just kind of waiting on them to clear the level. And there we go. Another level up. Okay, so now we unlocked the tavern. So we can go to the tavern. This is kind of the spot up here in the top right of your castle. Okay. Okay, so upgrade level. This is um, if you want to sacrifice another champion to grant another champion XP. So like this is our main hero, Galek. We could throw a bunch of these in here and click upgrade and it would sacrifice them to level up our main hero. I don't recommend doing this very often, especially in the early game. I don't recommend using champions to upgrade level. We want to save them kind of for food. Upgrade rank. Okay, and the game does at least walk you through that a little bit. Um, when they hit max level, which for it's 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 just their star level times 10. 
So if they're a one star level 10, two stars level 20, three star for our main character Galek is going to be level 30. When Galek hits level 30, we can upgrade rank if we have the equivalent amount of level one characters that are that star. So as a three star on Galek, we would want three three star characters that we can sacrifice into Galek to raise him to four stars. And then when he's a four star, we would need four four stars. When he's a five star, we would need five five stars. So it gets tougher and tougher as you rank up. So we want to get three level one three star characters. That's kind of our goal here. Um, and you do that by just kind of slowly building up. You you get this, this sniper here to level 20 and then you use you go to upgrade rank and you put in two level one two stars and she becomes a three star you do that two more times and you have your three level one three stars to upgrade your main character when they get to level 30 i hope that makes sense i know it's kind of throwing a lot at you but it will make sense once you're playing upgrade skills you can do this with skill books i i don't recommend using your skill books until kind of later like after you've played for a few days and you really kind of know what's going on and you know what characters you're going to focus on because skill books are really tough to get in this game you can also upgrade the skills of champions by finding duplicates so like let's say i find a galek in a shard he would show up right here as a duplicate and i can sacrifice that duplicate find to upgrade i don't recommend really sacrificing your rares like that until kind of later the same the same way as the uh the previous thing i was talking about you want to wait until you kind of on the the skill books you want to wait until you kind of understand more um before you're sacrificing rare champions ascension you're not going to want to worry about this again for probably a few days in the early game is just about farming the xp and getting your main character up to that fourth star and getting kind of your secondary character up to that four star. We're not going to be worrying about ascending as kind of a, a beginner player here. You'll kind of slowly be introduced to that. It's basically just um, it unlocks some skills when you get to level three and it's a, and it's a minor boost in stats, but it's mainly to unlock the skill at level three. Like we'll see here on the uh, war priest. I believe she has one. Yeah, right here ascended skill that means when we get her to three star ascension uh it will heal all allies except the target by 10 percent, whereas it doesn't do it currently so she would be a good one to ascend if you're going to use her um yeah but nothing to summon okay so hopefully this kind of helps you kind of map out your first few hours as you're playing and kind of what you should focus on um, I'm going to have a, I, I have a lot more uh, videos on my channel where I dive into kind of more specific, more advanced topics. And I, you know, I'm doing three to four videos a week. I'm really, you know, planning and cranking out content to, uh, produce what I can for this game. So, but I wanted to show some love to kind of, to the newer players who have maybe just downloaded and are kind of wondering, you know, what the hell do I do? Where do I start? And kind of explain some different things. So that's what vid this video was for. But stay tuned, I'll have more advanced, uh, you know, mid game to late game content coming up from my main account. So if you have a question, drop it down in the comments. I'm usually pretty good about responding and getting back to you. And as always, thank you for watching. Have a good rest of your day. Peace.